back. An Air Force veteran turned real estate agent is hoping to make a big change here in the Alamo City, and it involves removing barriers he argues discriminates against low-income veterans to live where they want. Ken's 5 Zach Briggs explains. I was with the Air Force for 12 years. Richard Costa's latest mission, expand housing options for low-income veterans across San Antonio which deems itself Military City USA. With that Section 8 voucher, they should be able to live by Bamsey. They should be able to live by Audie Murphy, the places where they uh, choose to live at, but they can't because of the discrimination that's happening to Section 8 voucher holders. Local nonprofit My City Is My Home pushing the city of San Antonio to adopt a policy that would prevent landlords from denying veterans who receive federal funds for rent. If you're a landlord in San Antonio and the veterans passing all your, your background checks, you need to accept the Section 8 voucher for veterans in Military City USA. This proposal follows another city change a few years back, which Acosta played a big part in passing. It used to be before 2021 that if the city gave funding to an apartment to develop, they wouldn't have to accept Section 8 vouchers. If you're going to accept our taxpayers' dollars to develop, you should be accepting our taxpayer dollars for our programs for affordable housing. The San Antonio Apartment Association emailed a statement which argues against implementing such regulations against private housing providers. The association says some property owners choose not to take part in voucher programs due to several month delays in rental payments, inconsistent unit inspections, and other costly requirements. Meanwhile, the San Antonio Housing Commission is expected to discuss the nonprofit's proposal later this month. Zach Briggs, Ken's 5.